What's up everyone? How's it going? Welcome back. So today with some more Final Fantasy 6. Last episode we all the Phantom Beasts got released. And the Empire was like, oh no, we're sorry, we're good again, blah. Even though we don't believe them. Um I don't believe them at all. It seemed weird. It took us to a feast. And then we've got to go talk to the Phantom Beast. Uh, Tia's got to go because obviously she's Phantom Beast baby. And Locke decides to go with, even though I don't want him to because I don't want to use Locke. But hey ho, you know, they want you to use all the characters and stuff, which I kind of get, but you know. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Uh, and no one else came with, no one, just the two of us. Um, so now we're going to meet General Leo. In Alberg, Alberg, Alberlab, whatever it's called. Do these guys have the Phantom Beast? Yeah. They do. Good. Okay. That's fine then. Right, let's go to Alberg, which I think is over to the left. I think. Who truly knows? What sword did I give Locke? Yeah! Raise those hands! Alright, so Alberg, I think, is the city over this way. Ah. Oh. Or is it that one at the bottom right down there? Oh, God. And now I can't remember. Right, um... We, you, uh, we're gonna go bottom right first, I think. I'm gonna guess bottom right. I could be wrong, so I do apologize if that's the case. And uh, I'm sorry if we have to go other ways. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry about that. Can't kill them all. Yeah, that's right. Just destroy them. Destroy that wyvern. Throw whatever you use, and you do much more damage that way. It seems. Lock, are you in the back row? I mean, what weapon are you even using? What weapon did I give Locke, everybody? Everybody, what weapon does Locke have? Does he have one of the ones that makes him do the same damage from the back row or not? Because I don't remember. Well, he's in the back row. Doesn't look like it when he's in a fight, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okie dokie. Right, okay, we need to use some magic, though. Oh, yeah, you, you haven't learned recover. Good job you're here. Yeah. Some recovers going. Alright, I'm guessing this one down here. It's a guess. It's just this closer. And if I'm right, then it means I brought less. <laughs> oh god, these battles are just getting in my way. Move! Really? That didn't kill them? You didn't kill that one? God damn it, Tina! Tina! Come on. Why do you stop moving? There we go. Please tell me this is the one. Alberg! Yeah! I got it right! Alright! That was kind of luck. I was gonna go to the left, but you know. General Leo, you in here? I just, you know, I just made a sweeping assumption he'd be in the pub. It appears I made a sweepingly wrong assumption. He is not here. Wait, didn't. Oh, 
Where is Leo? Excuse me, gentlemen, do you know where Leo is? I'm supposed to be meeting him here. No, seriously, he told me to meet him here. I'm pretty sure he said, meet me in Alberg. Does this just leave the city? Oh no, this goes down to a different bit. Ooh, ooh, is it on the ship? Ah, it's Leo! Hey, Leo! I've been waiting for you. We will also be traveling with another Imperial General and a man who has was hired in this town. No way! Shadow! Here they are. This is General Celeste and Shadow. Is something wrong? No. Well, the departure is not scheduled until tomorrow. The inn has been informed that you might be coming. But today, you need only get some rest. Celeste. Oh, bye then. I'm working for the Empire now. Oh, but don't you need to worry. I'm not only the, to back. I'm not about to backstab you if the opportunity presents itself. Well, thanks. I'm glad. I suppose, you know, buddy. I thought we were friends. Although, wait, who did you travel with? Well, you didn't travel with Locke, did you? I suppose, you know, didn't travel with Locke. So, I suppose on that note, I wouldn't know who you are, really. A oh, romantic moment in the moonlight. It's so romantic. Celeste. Come on. Why won't you speak to me? I doubted you just a bit, but I'm still your friend. Celeste. Seriously, lady, will you talk? No. She had her tongue ripped out or something. Do you reckon she's had her tongue ripped out? Because she's not saying a word. Like, literally, she's saying nothing. Nothing. All right, I suppose we go back towards the board. Here we go. Leo, I'm ready, bro. All right, let us depart. Let us depart. Departation. Ahoy. Where are you taking us? We're going to talk to the phantom beasts, I know, but where are we going? All systems and power conduits are operating normally. We will arrive tomorrow morning. You will be rise to rest up till then. Well, I just rested, mate. Like... God damn it, how much rest do you want me to get? Oh, I'm Tina now. Mr. Leo, is something the matter? You look like you're feeling a bit better. <laughs> it's so strange. The Empire manipulated me, controlled my actions, and here I am helping them out. Imperial people are still human beings. Not all are evil like Kefka. He is a butthole, that Kefka. Um... What about you? I knew that you were a half phantom beast and was subject to magic experimentation, but I couldn't stop Kefka, and I am just as guilty as he is. Ah, oh, poor, poor General Leo. I'm the product of a human and a phantom beast. I've been raised to live as a human, but will I ever be able to love another person? Well, I assume so. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be able to? I cannot see why you couldn't. Yeah, General Leo agrees with me. Why wouldn't you be able to? You're a person still. But I've never felt love before. Well, 
Even if you are a fan of beast and human, your dad was a fan of beast and he loved a woman. You're still young. Someday you'll understand. I know it. Yeah, General Leo knows what he's talking about, apparently. Don't know why. Ugh, gotta drink that coffee. But I want to know now. Who are you talking to? Are you just talking to yourself? Tina, 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 Tina. Who's there? Wait, what? I don't know, who is there? It's Shadow! Way. I thought I might spend the night looking out at the stars. Did you overhear what we were talking about? I wasn't planning to overhear it. I am a ninja. Um. I cannot help you. You must find the answer yourself. Tina. There are others in this world who have killed all emotions like I did. Don't forget that. Wait, what? I don't... I don't understand what that line was about. Why is that important? Ugh. 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 Oh, Locke suffers from a bit of seasickness, does he? That's what he sounds like. That's the sound I make when I throw up too. <laughs> uh, don't tell anybody about this. What would people think of the world's greatest treasure hunter if they knew? <sighs> Gotta love making silly noises. <laughs> Ah. And we're back on the boat. Well, we're, we're still on the boat, but you know what I mean. The ship is sailing! Sail, little ship, sail. Oh, sorry. I was taking a swig of coffee. I thought conversation was about to start. We should reach Triangle Island soon. Once we land, we will split into two groups. I will work with Celeste, and you will team up with Locke and Shadow. If you locate where the phantom beasts are, report back here immediately. Shall we get it going? Shadow? Um. Oh, wait, no, that's Celeste. Um, lock? Oh, she speaks! Um, I... Come on. Well, she was trying to talk to you. That was just rude, Lock. You know, she blanked you last night. But that was just goddamn rude. You know, just because she was rude doesn't mean you need to reciprocate rudeness. Oh, Shadow's back. I suppose I should probably have a look at giving him a better goddamn weapon. Oh, what do you want? I feel like it should be this, you know, he gets a few more stats on everything. Yeah. You have a Mithril shield. Um, the green beret. And you stay in your shinobi gear. <laughs> oh, you need a phantom beast. Don't you? What magic do you know? You know nothing. What do you know? You know fire. Okay, so you know fire and cure. You know, fire, blizzard, thunder, blizzard, the thunder, the blizzard, the blizzard, the blizzard, and cure. So, I believe you, no, beasts, should have. I think you should just kind of learn the three the fear of blizzard and thunder. I think that would be good. Let's go with that. All right, here we are, Triangle Island. <laughs> Briarios. Ah, he's dead. He is also dead. Wow, that was easy. I am pretty certain I've been here before. Let me see the world map. 
Uh, yeah, I've been here before. Oh, wait, have I been here before? I don't know. Could have been. Might have been. Should have been. <laughs> Who cares? Kill it all! Gotcha. Yeah, got you. You are beaten. The Massa Village. Oh, yeah, wait, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Accessories. Oh, you got the dash shoes. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We don't need two people with dash shoes. So you, you good sir. Actually, no. You good sir. You can have the Genji gloves. Out of curiosity, what is the Mithril glove? Cast protects when the wearer is near death. Eh. Then you've already got it equipped. Whoosh. Right, weapon and armor shop. What you got for me? Oh god, you got a lot. I have a gold shield. Who has it? None of them have it. But why do I have one? Whatever. I should get, whoa, just two, bro. Tiara. I'll get a couple of these just in case. A gold helm. I'll get a couple of these. Mystery veil. Well, I don't know which one was better. I'm gonna get one of these. Oh, God. One, two. I'm gonna get three of these. Earth gear, what? I'm gonna get one of these. Oh, just a. Oh, God. oh, and then there's gold armor. I should have gotten that. Oh, man. I'm just making a mess of this. I'll get two of those. I'm making the right mess of this, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> right, okay. So, Mithril Shield stays that way. Uh, Mithril Helm. Problem with these are my um, magic goes down. Yeah, my defense and magic defense goes up a little bit, but my magic goes down. I don't like that. Same with that. Oh, I suppose I should do a sim two for quite a lot extra. <laughs> Excuse me. Gold shield. You can't have a gold shield for whatever reason. Don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, what I said it. Whatever. Pfft. Pfft. Oh, we got rods, which you know I don't think I've ever used before in my life. Morning star. Got one of those. Hawkeye. He's wearing that heavy lance. I could do with one of those darts. Yeah, go on then. <sighs> Here we go. The fun bit. This is where it gets difficult because I don't know what to sell and what not to sell. But, you know, we'll play along. Mm. No, because I might need those. Kempo gear is not needed. The myth will... No, we'll just get rid of all of it. Screw it. Mm. 
Hmm. An iron helm. I don't need that. Don't need that. Hopefully. Who knows? I'm just getting rid of loads of stuff because I can't. Yeah, that'll do for the moment because, you know, who knows and all that. Uh, right, so, no, equip. Can you not have a gold helm? No, you can't. Okay. That's fine. Just checking. And then what's this man selling? Anything I need? Oh, what do I need? 50 of those. Most of my money, but I think it's worth it, personally, you know. Uh, items. So, because it's a mess in that. It's a mess. Right, guys, I think that is a good time to end the episode. Da -da 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 -da. We'll, uh, we'll go back into the city on the next episode, that little town. And we'll uh, see what else is in there. But for now, we're going to stop here. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We're going to find those phantom beasts. I can promise you, whether we do anything about it, I don't know. Because I don't know if anything can be done. Because, you know, they might kill us all, but we'll see. But, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Ring that notification bell. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And I will catch you on the next episode. Take it easy, everybody.